So I have food in my hand. And if he sits, yes, I'm gonna put food in his bowl, right? For now, I'm just building some trust up. He doesn't know me at all, and I don't know him at all. So this is gonna be how he gets his breakfast for a little bit. He sit. Good boy. Good job. Get it. I want all approaches for now to be foods coming into the bowl, right? Not take anything away. That bowl is too far for my liking, so I'm gonna get my little grabbers. Give me a good test anyway to see. Um, I'm not gonna stick my hand there <laughs> and figure that out. So let's see if he's gonna research hard this um, bowl for me. Let him see what this is. Good boys. So I'm not gonna just like stick it in his face, right? Like, I am gonna take this bowl though. Good boy. It's just too far for my liking, right? Can you sit? Yes. There, I'm gonna approach and put it in the bowl because there's some freezing, right? Just trying to see where his baseline is, not trying to make him upset, not trying to put so much pressure on him where it's negative for him. But I do want him to see that every approach equals food, right? Yep. So he looks up at all at me. Yes. He gets more of it. Yes. So we're freezing here. Have some more. So what see his lips there? You get more of it, but you're not gonna like chomp at me either. Okay, look at me, though, bud. Yes. So I'm pretty close, right? Like, I mean, two feet, but I know we got each other, so we're good. Yes. I also have a cup right here, too. Can you sit? Yes. Give him some special relief. Have a tether for safety, right? Yes. I want him to understand that. He's auto sitting for me, which is really nice. So he's very operant. Um, he understands that if he SITs, he gets more food at this point. Yes. I just want to build some trust for them today. We're not doing anything too crazy. Yes. 
your mom's home. So I would like to get this bowl at this point because I don't want Megan to walk out here because she doesn't know I'm working with him. So I'm going to bring this over. Get it. Get it. So nothing there. Get it. Good boy. So now I'll take this because he's more interested in that. that there's more coming. Can you sit? Yes. Great. You sound really close, right? Yes. And his behaviors I really like. Um, has it smelled at me yet? Give him some freezing, but nothing crazy. Is it? Yes. This time I'm going to come in before he's done. You see? Pretty close. in it a bit not just so now I have food in my hand he has like maybe three so if he does anything yes he gets more So we got freezing now. Can you see his face? Can you sit? Because I took it once. See the truss is gone? We'll put more in it than before. So again, approach. Yes. So no snarling. Okay with him hovering, right? But he's actually not committing to taking like attacking the pole. Yes. And I'm not trying to antagonize him. I just want him to understand that me approaching with my hand, my foot, my anything does not mean it's always gonna be taken. I might touch a bowl. Doesn't mean I'm gonna take it. Doesn't mean the resource is going away. So you see the snarls there? Just moving the bowl and I'm not gonna back up in this moment. Definitely First time he showed me any tea. Can you sit? Nope. Yeah. And this is why he's on tether, right? I do want to see what his baseline is, though. Yeah. So we can see it really well there. I'm... We'll commit to it. So there's 
nothing in here. There's no food. Oh, wow, there's one little piece of kibble right here. Um, but we'll commit to a bite. So there's our proof. Put that over there. You gonna be cool with me stepping it all now? Oh. I'm making him get away from me. Is it? Yes. Oh, that was a bad hang, baby. Sorry. I want him to understand that, you know, just because I reach for it does not mean it's going away. I'm not trying to antagonize him and be mean. I want you to see the... Body language. So I'm going to leave this here. Because it's pressure. I'm not attached to it. Stop rumbling and I got it, right? Okay. So we'll work on approaches. I just wanted to see what his intention and baseline was. Um, we will do some damage, right? And that's why we go with a group B first and I want him to see me approaching. my chance to take it. Nope. Again, I'm grabbing it because I want him to understand I'm giving it to him. I'm not taking it away. Every time I approach and grab at it, he's like, shit, it's going to go away. I just know it. But he will totally tear me up, right? And all of your shit doesn't work, right? He sits. He sits. I'll give it to him. Again, I'm trying to give him food. So, I wanted, that's why I wanted to use this first. Um, to see if I were to hand him food in his crate. How that would go and that's how that's going to go. You sit. Yes. Because as you put it down, it's a problem. So. Good 
Good. Again, I'm not as, I know it feels like I'm antagonizing. I want to see how many reps it takes. How many will he take? So if we do conditioning on approach, right? Um, how many times will he snore? And how many, how, how many reps does it take for him to actually commit? And it's not many. Um, and this is a dog that has left resources to attack people. And I can see why, right? Um, I don't know that just approaches is going to cut it for him. And it's probably going to move up the ladder, of course, but this might be a, at one point, um, positive punishment dog for him to know that it's not okay. And I don't, again, not jump into that, but if it's either he's going to be unalive or we can work on this, but we'll work on it. It's definitely surrounded a bowl. Because he doesn't even want to take food from my hand directly, which is going to be interesting. Think about that. There's too much conflict around the bowl, which is part of the problem. So I'm going to put the bowl up completely and then get it.